kick off your shoes and relax your feet because this is about to be a long ass fucking video so get ready what's up best friends welcome back to my channel so i wanted to talk to you guys about weaves and wigs and frontals and closures like you know i just want to make a video about the truth of this and like what people don't understand and don't know and don't get because me being a like beauty enthusiast let's call it that because i ain't certified i'm just you know a girl that like to look bomb and whatever like that so i'm a beauty enthusiast you know i learned how to do stuff on my own and i'm here to show you how i do it so it can be easier for you to learn how to do it and do it your own so you know you can keep your coin to yourself and you know you can keep it in your pocket i think i want to say okay wait first thing i want to say I, got, I have some notes in my phone, but I'm not going to go to those yet. I just want to talk to you guys. Now, I just want to give you guys a little background on me, okay? So, I've been getting my hair pressed since I was like four years old, okay? That's a long fucking time. So, I made the conscious decision half a year ago to go natural. I've always been getting my hair pressed. So, my hair was actually heat trained, which means it was heat damaged, okay? But it was heat damaged. It was always straight. Um, and... I was getting weaves and like this story should be in like my you know my hair journey video or whatever but I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a hair journey video so yeah uh, I think I started making wigs about five years ago but and nobody knew I was kind of like you know it was like a low-key like pause freeze frame okay hold on so I'm gonna let you know this right now my wig is not properly on my head so if I turn this way bitch you're gonna see lace I mean I don't care we we we've best friends so it's okay like I, i'm being trifling right now all right so okay let's get back to the actual video <sighs> An embarrassing thing to tell people like oh i wear wigs but like i would wear wigs because i stopped liking getting you know weaves because i would get a weave and then like it'll start itching or like i'll get annoyed with the parting because you know you can't really part your hair with a wig weave and like you know you only get have that one part and you can't pull your hair up and then sometimes i just want my regular hair out and it was just getting annoying to me so i just stopped wearing weaves so i started wearing you parts so i got brought my ass here onto youtube and i started watching videos of girls making you parts and i was like hmm okay i'm gonna try that so i tried wearing a u-part and i actually loved it so i started wearing u-parts back to back to back to back to back so i will start wearing it the duration of me wearing a weave so like i will get my u-part i will make my u-part i will have it installed for about a, a month and a half i will take it down wash my hair bring my hair back put it back on i will sew my u-parts down and then i would have it installed for a month and a half and i kept doing that and i just fell in love and so then next thing you know closures came into play and i was like "Ooh, i'm scared to wear closure so i tried a closure it was hard to you know figure it out but you know you get you get the hang of it once you just keep doing it it's all about trial and error so from a closure i went to now frontals i go i can work and maneuver frontals and then now they have 360 uh closures now i guess that's what you want to call them but now they have those i have actually one on the way so i can't wait to get my hands all up in that and try it um so let's get right into it okay one misconception that i see a lot of wig makers on youtube make is that they make it seem like you know when they're sewing their hair on their wigs that it takes them like an hour like babe, they're lying that should take longer than an hour i am an advanced sewer like i know how to sew i know how to sew clothes i know how to sew hair it don't take an it don't take 30 minutes to an hour to make your wig you're if you're doing it neatly and you know you're being precise with what you're doing and you want your wig to last for you know a cool minute it's gonna take you like an hour and a half to two hours to make your wig like turn on a good movie girl watch a movie while you're doing your hair you'll get through it but do not let somebody tell you that you know your wig is gonna make is your wig is gonna take you 30 minutes to make because i see a lot of youtube gurus hair gurus on here saying that oh you know it only took me 30 minutes to put my wig together lies all fucking lies and then it's just like i'm gonna just let y'all go look y'all gotta be y'all gotta use common sense 
I, I'm a person that make videos and I have to edit my videos down because my videos be long. My last videos that I've been posting about, you know, my orange hair, it took me two days to film all of that. It took me two, maybe an hour and a half to actually construct the wig. But, you know, you got to think about it. Like, I have to pre-pluck, I have to pluck it, I have to bleach the knots, I have to tint the lace, I have to, you know, uh, if I'm coloring the hair, I have to bleach the hair, I have to condition the hair, I have to let the hair dry, I have to color the hair, I have to make the wig, I have to put the hair on my head, I have to, it's just so much. So don't believe the hype, it takes a long fucking time. Wig makers on YouTube use hot glue, glue guns because they're getting hair sent back to 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 back back and they're tired of fucking someone, all right? And so they're using hot glue guns to get this method going quick, okay? The only time I say consumers should fucking use hot glue guns if they're not getting sent hair and they don't care about, you know, that glue being on their hair is if you're using synthetic hair to make like a uh, synthetic hair to make a quick ass fucking weave. But other than that, why are you putting hot glue on your good hair? Like, girl, why? Like, they're, they're doing that because they don't have the time to be sitting here sewing weaves, wigs together. So they're using a hot glue gun. That just makes the shit go by fast. Okay. I also see a lot of girls when they cutting off their lace, they're cutting it off like, you know, like the moon shape. Like it's just like, you know, straight across your hairline. Some people, listen, some people don't have hairlines like that. I don't have a hairline like that. My hairline is tricky as fuck and I'm gonna let you know why. I'm about to show you right now. I literally have a, a, a widow's peak right here, right? And my actual baby hair. Look, I have a finger space between my baby hair and my eyebrow. So I have a small forehead. I don't have a large forehead like most of these people wear that can get away with wearing a frontal on their forehead. Like, I could get away with it, but I have to alter my frontal um, certain ways in order for me to do I'll have to, you know, sew an elastic band on it and, like, you know, maybe secure some bobby pins on it in order for me to wear it without my got to be glue because, you know, my hairline is not, like, perfect at all. Like, I have baby hair, at my, I have a short forehead, and I, I have a widow's peak, and so you gotta, you gotta customize your frontal in order for it to suit you the best. So when you are buying wigs from people online, you gotta let them know your hairline and you gotta show them, send them pictures. If you gotta draw something out for them, draw it out. Show them because you just don't wanna get a generic wig, right? And it don't suit you because it does not fit your face or your hairline. I'm just saying. I don't care how well you bleach your knots, how much fucking got to be glue you put on your, uh, you know, your hairline. Come here. It's lace. It's lace. They're going to see the fucking lace regardless. Regardless. Do not let YouTube and Instagram fool y'all asses. Like, it don't matter how well you, how good of a job you do on your lace. It is not real, y'all. They gonna see that. They gonna see it. I don't care. If somebody get up on you, they gonna see your hair, okay? They gonna see them little boxes. You know that that uh, meme on Instagram that's coming from men and they, they're like, y'all act like we don't see these little boxes on your head, but it's okay. We're not gonna talk about it because we don't want to hear the stories about how your hair was long. That shit. They can see it. I mean, you could, you could have a flawless application, but boo. No matter what, how flawless your application is going to be, somebody's going to see that lace. Just be comfortable with it. Own your lace. Own it. Have pride in your lace. Just say, I got a wig on. It's a frontal. And it look bomb. That's all that matters. This. This. If you are out here making wigs, you need to go ahead and, uh, you know, buy you one of these. These. Are, this is a blockhead. This is made out of canvas and cork. There's cork in there and then I sit this on my wig stand and I create all my wigs on this. And I feel like this gives me the best results because I used to, hold on, I used to make my wigs on this, hold on. I used to make my wigs on this, right? This is not the shape of my head, this is not the size of my head. Do not buy a wig if they're making it off of this, I'm just saying. Yeah, this is, so you can see that my wigs were not how they fit right now my wigs used to be tight and uncomfortable until i was like 
fuck this, I'm gonna buy me something that I'm supposed to have. If you're online and you're purchasing wigs from wig makers, make sure they're using a manic a blockhead for you and make sure you tell them the actual size of your head because you just don't want to be out here buying a size 19 wig and you're a size 24 head and that shit don't fit you because then it's a waste of money and I'm just letting you know that so you know girls go out here do your research and if you're a wig maker you just need to invest in one of these they're like $30 they don't cost a lot got to be glue let's talk about got to be glue this is a gift and a curse I would say a gift and a curse like you will have to figure this shit out but I'm here to help you to tell you what's up with this got to be glue okay I've never tried the yellow package I only tried this one and I'm gonna tell you right now I went to Walgreens and I bought this for three dollars and they sell this for like between six to twelve dollars on the internet cut it out go to Walgreens get your ass in your car go to Walgreens and buy you this for three dollars you'll thank me later got to be glued is wonderful when it's applied the correct way and I'm gonna let you guys know now <sighs> applying a frontal takes time okay and especially when you're applying some type of like adhesive or something like this ultra hole gel to your head listen I'll be sitting here for a good 15 minutes applying a frontal to my head because I want to make sure that the gel is adhering to my head the right way and it's placed in the right the right way so it won't be pulling out my fucking hair because I'm gonna let you know um I was the person that was like oh I'm wearing the middle part okay I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna put got to be glue right here on my part right here only I'm only gonna put got to be glue right here on my part and because I only put it on my part just like where the parting is and like right here to hold it down girl let me tell you Cynthia started missing the hair right there and I was like where my hair go what happens is if you don't disperse the tension on your head all the way around it's gonna pull in that certain area you don't want to be like me you don't want to have a missing spot but luckily <laughs> it grew back and it was behind my hairline so it was okay so it's okay don't be like me I'm not the type of person that use actual uh, frontal glue like you will never ever catch me using frontal glue on my hair like I'm just I'm nervous that makes me nervous like I'm just scared to use that because I'm just like what if that shit really pulls on my hair like I can handle got to be glue but like that that stuff looks sticky and I don't want that on my hair like I just I pass I can literally put on a frontal and I can leave it on my head for three days without it like budging from the got to be glue so uh, reapplying that got to be glue is a biatch because like <sighs> this is why the shit sucks I'm gonna show you got to be glue leaves a residue like I don't know why it leaves a residue like it does but it does and it's nasty and it hardens you do not want this product to harden on your hair you don't want to keep adding product on top of that hardened product because I feel like if you keep doing it your hair just gonna flake off and break off and I just that just scares me I don't want my hair to flake off and break off so like every time I use the got to be glue I have to wash that residue off my hair a lot of girls on here says like they just use water to take it off I don't see how because water does not take that off I literally have to suds my hair up I have to wet it I have to put shampoo on it and I have to suds it up and then I have to go in with like some oils because you know like got to be glue is drying and so I just need to make sure my hair is nourished and then then you have things like your wig that you have on like my wig <laughs> yourself having to wash your wig as well because all your lace has got to be glue on it and it's annoying because you have straight hair and it's like I don't want to wash my hair because I just washed it and straightened my hair is a bitch and I just don't feel like doing all of that so got to be glue is annoying but it's bomb at the same time you feel me so because this video is almost like 15 minutes long, I'm going to cut it off right here because I have a lot to say and I'm going to do another upload about this. So if you want to hear what I have to say, what else I have to say about, you know, YouTube, Instagram and fucking frontals and wigs and blah, blah, blah. Listen, then you need to subscribe or you need to turn that notification on because I will be back with another upload on this topic because I have so much to talk about. I just want to say if you are a beginner do your research I am always preaching this do your research watch videos you will learn how to do this okay it's, it takes time patience 
learn what works for you learn what does not work for you okay that's all it is i will be back with another video thank you for watching this all right love you best friends bye